that's him responding to internal stimuli. He's responding to a to a hallucination. That's not him rehearsing. Are you oh, kidding no. me? No, that's uh, him talking to his voices, Doctor Drew. That's the internal really stimuli. That, and I really hope that nobody here on this panel ever experiences that because that is probably one of the most frightening things that could happen to you when you hear multiple voices in your head and you're actually having to respond to them because you can't tell what's real and what's fake that, anymore. This guy is psychotic. I can listen. You and I, Judy, can arrive at a conclusion unless he's he's fabricating this. He's unless he's blowing smoke to try to, you know, create some right. sort of distraction. What we are seeing here, if it is factual, is a psychotic episode, correct? Absolutely. 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 So, the people, he has Asperger's, he's psychotic, he's Parkinsonian. Vanessa, I need you to calm down and keep an open mind on this. <laughs> You're condemning this guy based on a television show, yes, and these people the don't know what they're show. seeing. First of all, his only diagnosis is old. You keep throwing stuff into this bucket and hoping something sticks, and I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. I don't think he hasn't. he's having Judy, a psychotic Judy, talk break. Judy, talk to Vanessa. Judy, talk to Vanessa. Right. I can't he's talk anymore. Vanessa. What people Judy, do on TV. Please help me, Judy. You're a professor, Judy. Help, help the students. Vanessa. 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 Listen to me. Vanessa, I, I hear you. Really? I, hear your, I hear your impassioned plea, but please listen to me. This this actually needs to be understood that people, when they have psychotic illnesses, it can look very grandiose to somebody who has never seen it no. in a family member or friend. This is not possibly just done for TV. He could actually <laughs> genuinely be having this reaction. And, Dr. and, and, and ladies, all the time. Rebuttal. 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 the oars are obvious because everyone else is pull, 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 putting oars in there in this case. Everyone's already condemned this guy. I'm saying he may have done it. It's possible. I think he may have done it. That's certainly a possibility. But he's psychotic, he's Parkinsonian, probably from his meds. That looks more like a par Parkinson's from the medication. He has blepharospasm, he's responding to internal stimuli, he's a stalker, he gets confused and urinates in public. I mean, this is a person who would be on the streets if he were not incredibly wealthy. His seeming entitlement and grandiosity could be part of his psychotic illness. This is really serious stuff. Yes, in, maybe, in, maybe in one of those psychotic states he killed somebody. Maybe that's part of the deal here. That's a possibility too, guys. Let's remember that, Judy. That's, of course, a possibility. But there's much more to the story than you see on television. Be careful when you condemn people, when you become a mob based on what goes on TV.